Um, that was my first look at her. To me there she looked like a, a normal child. Wasn't aware of her head um, at that stage. Um, they took her straight away and hooked her up to all her heart machines and um, that's when I got told that heart surgery was out of the question for Madison because her heart was too complex. She was in cardiac failure. She had a complex heart uh, condition and she was also diagnosed with the cranial synestosis, so the prematurely fused uh, bones of her head. So she was not a candidate for surgery at that time. So she was a palliative care patient, which means that you know we just wanted to keep her comfortable and to manage her symptoms as much as we could. Right from the word go, I knew Madison was a fighter. I knew Madison, yeah, wasn't going to go in two weeks' time. Um, I knew she had a fighting chance. She is a FIFA type, she has got FIFA type. It's what they call a clover, clover skull, because it, it's shaped like a clover. She will need reconstruction of the skull and plastic surgery um, done to her face. She's not out of the woods yet with her heart, but um, I can sort of put that aside for a minute and really start concentrating on her head and, and what needs to be done. Okay, this is the CT head of Maddie when she was, um, when she was born. And that's the 3D reconstruction of her bones. So you can see th these two are her eye sockets. But she's done amazingly wow. well. She's almost two now. Can you believe that? I know, I know. <laughs> but that's just... Yeah. I mean, that's what his skull looks like. Yeah. But I mean, her... her... I mean, how could that not be picked up? That's what gets me. I don't, yeah. Could it have been picked up, Kayla? It was picked up antenatally that she had the heart problems. Yeah. yeah. But not the, not the, the cranial. Cranial? No. It wasn't picked up, yeah. Yeah, I just, I don't like looking at it. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'll close yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. I mean, it was a really traumatic time for you, Maddie. When I first saw Madison, she needed to have a hat on her. I couldn't understand. It wasn't that she wasn't beautiful to me or anything like that. It was more I couldn't understand why she looked the way that she, she looked. So my request was for the nurses, every time they knew I was coming down, um, to put a hat on her. Um, and that was my way of coping. Um, and then I could concentrate on her heart um, until I was ready to see her without a hat on. Mum warned us, you know, she called me up and she was like, your sister's here and she's, she's got a different looking head and stuff like that so we were kind of well I was prepared to see her um, so we walked in and I helped give her her first bath and of course I cried you know it's, it's an emotional thing and then seeing her the way that she was it was yeah it was it was hard <laughs> you know, she just keeps surprising everyone she wasn't going to make it past her two weeks she wasn't going to make it past her head shunt she would be brain dead at one. She wasn't going to make it past, you know, all these milestones that she has passed and we are going to give her every chance that we possibly can. I love you. What did you do? I What did you do? I love you. I think she's beautiful and she's awesome and I think she's a miracle. Yeah, she has done so well. Um, she's definitely delayed in her milestones um, compared to a two-year-old. But we've really outdone what the prognosis was for her condition. And hopefully she'll just continue to develop and grow and reach her milestones. And we hope that she'll have a good quality of life. Uh, uh,
and down. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I know, I know. I've heard so much about you and your beautiful little girl. Oh, no, it's just Before awesome to yeah to speak to somebody else. So he's um, you know the, the little little girls are the same and yeah, yeah. wow, it's yeah. no other um Faso babies in New Zealand. No, York? no, none at all, none at all. No. Wow. Yeah. And so, so do, do the specialists in there like know much about her condition or no, they don't. But you give April a, a massive big kiss and a cuddle from me. And yeah, yeah, and I can't yeah. wait to meet you guys. <laughs> and same to Madison as well. And tell her she'll meet her little father friend soon. Aww. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. <laughs> it's been lovely talking to you. Same to you. Stay strong. And I'll, I'll talk to you soon, okay? Okay then. See ya. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Don't feel so alone now. <laughs> It's kind of like a, well, a weight sort of lifted off my shoulders now sort of thing because he's, sorry, he's somebody that I can talk to and, um, yeah, yeah, understands. Lady. She's starting to be more aware of herself in the mirror and she will Lady. stare at herself Lady. a little bit more. So I'm Lady. sort of thinking that it's time that she's, yeah, she's starting to notice that maybe she looks a little bit different. The world's cruel. If you don't look a, a certain way, people judge straight away. She may look different, but it doesn't mean that people have to be rude and cruel and, and even stare at her. It takes me a lot to get angry or feel hurt, but when I do see people staring and, and saying like comments and stuff I just I get so angry. A lot of parents haven't taught their kids everyone's different um, so we do get a lot of kids and some kids who are old enough to understand they do follow us around and run about and and stare and, and point and laugh and she gets called a monster um, scary which is she's totally the opposite. <laughs> Lovely ladies at the, the deli and um, lovely ladies at the checkout that know I'm Madison since she was about three months old. Um, and same as, as the deli ladies, they absolutely love her and yeah. And it, it makes it all sort of worth, you know, worthwhile. Bye. I think we would probably see a child with Pfeiffer syndrome, um, I would guess every three, maybe four years. Um, the skull's made up of a number of different plates of bone and they join at, at finger-like uh, joints. So these joints allow the skull to expand uh, as the head's growing, but if they fuse early it stops the skull from expanding in, in the direction and as a consequence the, the head has to expand in the opposite direction um, as the brain grows. Uh, and so that results in abnormal head shapes. So what we have to do is um, uh, make a cut and basically release the, the bone or the back of the head. Uh, and then we put uh, a couple of devices uh, on either side, uh, which basically you, you come out through the skin and you wind over time and they push the back of the skull out uh, to make more space. You know, most the fifers don't have the severe cardiac problems, you know, so to deal with the problems with the skull and with the brain, you need to obviously put her through operations that, if your heart's not up to it, uh, uh, you know, are, are problematic. You know, we've said we think this is the right thing to do for her next, so we're, we're I guess, signed up for it, providing the cardiologists think that her heart is up to it. Oh, are you excited? Can <laughs> <laughs> you say hi? Oh, Maddie. Hi. And how's things going? Good? Yeah, not too bad. Not yeah. Too bad. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, 
Yeah, April's a little bit sick at the moment, but um, she's doing all right. And I see she's starting to crawl. Yes, yeah, yeah, she's starting to crawl. She um, she was doing really well last night, but then she didn't get her arms right, and she just face planted on the floor. <laughs> so, but the morning we do a video call, and she decides to sleep in. So I'm frantically getting ready. So. With um, because I've seen the other week that she's standing, is she starting to walk in that now? No, she's um she's getting uh because Matt is quite delayed in her development um uh, because of the heart. Um yep. she's getting a walking frame next Monday. Yeah. Yeah, to try and help her um walk because she doesn't like bending her knees. So yep. yeah, but she will stand a few like stand her up against something, she'll stand there. But she doesn't know how to get get herself back down, and um, she's just learnt to dance. So, so that's yeah. But she's getting there. She'll get there. Oh, I wish that we could see you guys in person. I know. I know. That would be awesome. And it would be, especially you know, it would be um, it would be awesome to see how the girls react when they see each other. Oh, for sure. Say bye. Say bye bye. Bye. Bye, beautiful girl. Bye. We'll See ya soon. for sure. See you later. All right. Bye. Bye. Happy birthday, dear Maddie. Happy birthday. Madison's second birthday today. Um, she's turning two, which is another milestone. So each milestone with Madison, like her first birthday, and now definitely hitting her second birthday is um, a big wow, like a big miracle. And yeah, just sort of people do believe in miracles because they do come true. Um, everything that Ian stands for is Madison. The strength, it's okay to be different, unique. So yeah, what, what better than doing a unicorn thing for her? <laughs> Madison is, is a blessing to me. She came into this world the way that she did to help me, I believe. My insecurities of how I look and how other people um, view me and, and see me, I have a big problem with that. Having Madison has changed all of that for me. And I've accepted I am who I am. Yeah, like, like I've always said, I need Madison just as much as she needs me. Um, yeah, so there's, there's nothing I'll change about Madison. Happy birthday to the funniest, cheekiest and gorgeous Questy Princess. May your year be filled with love. Luck and love. Maddie's life is going to be constantly full of surgeries and um, getting well and, and preparing for her next surgery. Um, I do worry about her going to school, you know, teasing from other kids. But I mean, I, I will attack that when those time comes. And yeah, hopefully by then I've taught Maddie to be strong enough within herself and to know that she is beautiful the way she looks and that she's unique um, and she's a miracle. Like I said I've always been Madison's voice and I'll be her protector. Yeah, I'm going to teach Madison that the world's her oyster and she can do whatever she wants to do and become whoever she wants to become um, and I'll be behind her 100%.